everybody. Welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad you chose to click on this video today. Today I'm going to show you my new to me rough and tumble medium terrain and lumina black and go over some of the features and kind of what some feedback is about this leather. So stay tuned. So I had an actual subscriber. This is not one of those like I've had so many requests for this video. I actually had one subscriber that reached out to me via email and asked if I could do a video about the Lumina Black Leather um, as a whole. Uh, seeing as how I just posted up that I got this I think. I can't remember exactly where she saw it but she saw that I had it and uh, she wanted my opinion on it and I've only owned it for about a week or two weeks now and I've carried it a couple times but so I can just give you the feedback of like the initial my initial thoughts and feedback but I did go on the Facebook groups and I asked everybody's feedback in the groups if they could give me like their opinions on Lumina Black the Lumina leathers as a whole um, what their thoughts are and she had some very specific questions so I will pop some of those comments that they did in the video later so you can kind of see their feedback and I can read them to you and all that but I just wanted to give my like I said initial feedback so this is the rough and tumble train and it's in lumina black as you saw at the very beginning and what caught my attention about this is that it was like a blackout bag I have had a medium train before you guys have seen it in my I think my full purse collection video at the beginning of this year, which my full purse collection has completely changed. My littles and my purses completely changed, but I will try to pop a picture of that one in here. But this one, I have sold that one. I sold it back to the girl that I bought it from, my friend, Laura. Hi, Laura. And so I just decided um, this was such a good deal on the buy sell trade and what really, really got me. And this is so silly, but this interior, this lining is so beautiful and just so simple and it just like tugged at my heart now could it have been lust maybe but <laughs> I went for it got a good deal because I bought another purse from this girl at the same time and so I I just went for it but it's just it's so beautiful so this is this does have the three-way carry strap let me step back so you can see it a little better hold on <laughs> So I moved that lighting so maybe you can see this a little better. Um, I'll try to show it to you in different lighting and I'll pop the pictures in too of the pictures that the girl used to sell them. Um, but it does have this three-way carry strap. So it means that you can actually carry it crossbody. I'm gonna step over here. There we go, look at that. Okay, so I am not a lighting expert, you guys. I'm still trying to figure it all out. Now we're back here in Michigan. So it's, you know, all new reset up. Anywho, this has the, they're called low profile strap. So it actually sits low profile against the purse, I believe is what it means. <laughs> and it does adjust so that you can carry a crossbody, you can carry it on your shoulder and you can carry it backpack style, which I didn't think that I would love backpack style on anything, but I really do. Um, overall, this purse was just so beautifully made. It has the two front zipper pockets here. Um, and it just has a lighter lining on the interior there, which I think is really beautiful. It's kind of like that. It's not core gray. I can't, might be cinder. I'll have to see if I can find it and pop a picture of the actual name of it right up there. Um, this is a very like generous size bag. Every time I, I think I get their, their, um, sizing down for rough and tumble, I am shown that I don't have it down at all. The only thing I would change about this bag is these zippers. I would actually, if it's closed, I would start them in here, which is what I did on my custom. And I did really love that feature. I don't know why it just makes it stand out a little bit more for me, but zero complaints on the interior. There are, let's see, I will, I will point down and put some, um, video in here, some B-roll of what the interior looks like, but it has one long zipper pocket in the back. And then on this side, it actually has pockets within pockets, which they don't really do anymore. So it has two slip pockets here of the main lining. And again, I'll show you there. And then it has a slip pocket back here and even like a pen slip pocket on the other side. So it's a smaller pocket. And then this one does have added D rings. Well, there's one, there it is. <laughs> On the outside there it is so it has added d rings here so you can add a short shoulder strap to it which i do have a couple that i could add to it i can't get to them right this second but i can maybe add some footage in of that later and overall just so good my initial thoughts about the lumina black all right 
it it has a little bit of a shine to it as you can see I don't hate that I don't like super shiny bags but for some reason this one just like it's just really good um, oh, I forgot to mention that it does have these pull, it has a cinch closed top, so you pull the two loops, you pull those, and it closes it, and then to open it, of course, you just pull the opposite straps, if I can get a hold of them. Oh, no, maybe you just do that. There. <laughs> so, um, like, overall, this feels like such a, like, thick but smushy leather, if that makes sense at all. There, There's a term that people in the group use, and it, they talk about it having, like, chewiness like it's chewy and this feels chewy to me maybe I'm using that wrong I can't ever really get the grasp of like what they mean by that because everybody uses terms differently um, about different leathers everybody feels different leathers differently and everybody sees them a little bit differently and like there's a couple others that I absolutely I would use the term despise <laughs> and other people absolutely love it so it's really just a personal preference thing but what people were saying in the group is that this leather is super hardy. So let me read you some of the comments. Let me pull those up and read you some of the comments about the Lumina leather. So here's some of the feedback about the Lumina leathers. Uh, one said it's very light, it's not scented, it's puddly, sometimes pebbly, sometimes smooth, corners don't seem to wear at all, actually extremely durable compared to looking like it'll be delicate. And that is so true. It looks like it would be such a delicate leather, but they're saying that it wears really, really well over time. So I'm super excited to have it in my collection for that. Um, it's the most addictive to the touch leather I own. It is delicious and has proven pretty hardy for me. I have a small duffel and a large vertical zip boho and Lumina leather. So she owns a couple and Lumina. This one's a long one. What they said, but I'll add that I got a drop of hand sanitizer on mine and it left a weird spot. I wish it had happened to a different bag instead. It is super squishy, lightweight lamb that can have the most stunning texture depending on the hide. I feel like it's a bit more delicate other uh, than other lamb it's very it's also very stretchy which I'm mostly aware of because I use remnants from RT to make charms and I'm careful to make feathers so the hole doesn't stretch as it hangs like mine in the photo so it's it's a stretchy leather is what she's saying um, what Karen said surprisingly very light and after intentionally pouring water on mine that's so brave. I'm happy to report that it beat it up and rolled right off Lumina black is my all-time favorite leather which is amazing I agree, uh, re Lumina being surprisingly substantial for being a puddly lamb. It's so soft and I could just pet it all day, I think is what she meant, but it doesn't feel delicate. And the last comment said, I would like to consider myself a Lumina expert. <laughs> I've had so many bags in it. It's super lightweight and is a soft, squishy puddle. Even though it's a lamb skin, it's the most durable lamb I've had. It does great in any kind of weather. One of my all time faves. So overall, I'm really, really excited to use this over time to see how it wears. Um, I am, as you guys know, super churny in my collection. So I get something, I try it out. If I don't love it, I sell it. It doesn't stay in my collection. I've had that thought for this one. <laughs> where I've thought like maybe I'll sell it and then I go but I really haven't used it everybody says it's so durable and I just I love that you can backpack it I love that you can you know wear it crossbody it is kind of big for crossbody and I'll insert some pictures later too but overall I just think it's a fantastic bag I will weigh it um, empty and put that weight across here so this is what it weighs when it's actually empty I don't know, it feels kind of heavy like when I'm holding it, you know, one armed, one handed, but overall, um, I think that it wouldn't be too heavy. So what I'm going to do now is turn the camera around, show you guys what fits, show you the interior as well. And then um, that'll be it for this video. I'll, I'll insert some mod shots at the end of the video. So if you guys have any more questions about it, please ask them down in the comments below. If you own any Lumina leathers, please let us know what your... Um, what your take has been, how your experience has been carrying it over time, especially if you've owned it for a while. We'd love to hear that feedback. And I will also insert the dimensions of this bag here um, so that you can see like the actual height and width and even the base depth for you here. And then that will be it for this. That'll be it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, like I said, leave them in the comments below and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.
Okay, so um, I have this laying right here, which is the Lumina Black Medium Train, and this is my everyday carry right now, which is my small saddle 1904 Maxwell, and it's a Maxwell because it has this front pocket right here, nothing in it, and it has that beautiful kelp green lining. I pulled everything out of it that I've been carrying, and I've added a couple things that are already in here. So what we have in here is my MacBook, my MacBook Pro, which fits perfectly and this is a medium and you can see that down in there it actually goes below where that lip and cinch is so I could actually cinch it up with my MacBook in there I think it would actually let me adjust it yeah it'll cinch all the way up with a MacBook in there I'll put what size it is um across the screen somewhere here and then also I put in like my 2024 planner and that fits right there. But what I'd like to show you also is that it has these back pockets, which you saw earlier in the video, and it actually fits down in that pocket as well. Isn't that crazy? Those pockets are huge. And then something else I've been carrying is my Kindle. And that also fits into, if I can get this to stand up, that fits into that pocket right there. The more you pack in this, the more um, like structure this bag has, which is really nice because then you can carry it a little bit easier without it just puddling on you. Um, I have my twin pencil, which you guys will see a video on that very soon. I have my um, sunglasses case, those right there. I have a slip case, which goes in there. This is a stasher case with dog treats, and I'll just put that up here in one of these front pockets, the pocket within the pocket. Right there, I've got hand sanitizer and chapstick, um, all of that stuff that'll just go right here in this pocket up front. I know you can't see that right this second, but I'm gonna show you there. So right here and right here, there's a pocket and a pocket. And then of course, I always have my AirPods. I have a pen that can also go right here with this journal, the planner, and I have a hairbrush. What I did forget, I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. What I did forget is my wallet. It's in another bag, so let me go grab one of those. So this is the same size wallet that I've been carrying, and that can go right there in the main body of, of the purse, and it's it fits great. This, this could also fit back here in this pocket, this tall pocket right here as well. So this thing just really, as I always say, packs a punch. It holds so much. It's so beautiful. I love, I just... I love the blackout look of it. So now I'm going to go ahead and take some um, mod shots and that'll be it. Mm -hmm. 